Hi, I'm Diane Valer, and I write humorous mysteries where sleuthing is always in style. And I am counting from my first book up to my 40th, which comes out on February 27th, but I'm not talking about that book today. I'm talking about my 19th book, which is Murder on a Moon Trek. But you wouldn't know that because there's no book on my shredder. And it's not because I don't have a copy. It's because I have more than one copy with more than one cover because Sylvia Stryker, my space sleuth, that's right, I said space sleuth, she has had more than one makeover. So first let me tell you a little bit about Sylvia. She is a part alien, part human space sleuth. She is a Space Academy dropout. She's always been planning to work in security on a cruise ship and a scandal in the family kept her from pursuing that. She ended up dropping out of Space Academy and working on the dry ice farm with her mother. So when she gets an opportunity to get on a moon unit cruise, she takes it. Now here's the thing. She doesn't get the job because she got the job. She got the job because she uploaded her credentials on top of the credentials of the person who did get the job, the person who had a skiing accident shortly before departure. Sylvia quickly hacks into the system, makes herself the uniform lieutenant, and plans to show up, do the job, leave, all will be fine. It's not fine when she finds the body of the second lieutenant in the uniform closet right after the ship leaves the docking station. So when she reports the crime, quickly all kinds of questions about who she is, why she's there, what she's doing, come out, and as you can imagine, she has some explaining to do. So I do love Sylvia. Sylvia's had many iterations, so let me walk you through them. First, the book was Murder on Moon Trek 1. This was a short-lived cover, short-lived title actually, because the titles did change, but this was what came out first. From there, I changed the title sequence for the series and it became Fly Me to the Moon. Each book was going to have a different song title with a planet in it, and I kept that for a while. So Fly Me to the Moon was the second cover that I had. I started to feel like it was a little too science fiction and not as cozy as I wanted it to be, so I went with this Fly Me to the Moon, which definitely reads more cozy. The problem here was I started thinking they look too young. So from there, I just stripped all artifice away and went with Fly Me to the Moon, the bare bones edition, which you did not like at all. I think this one lasted two months, maybe. From there, I went back to the black ones because those were the ones that you seem to like the most, but I didn't feel like they were the right representation. So last year, I did hire a cover designer and um, got and changed the title sequence kind of back to a nod to the original title that came Murder on a Moon Trek. And that was because I felt like the song titles were cute, but they really didn't convey the fact that it was a mystery or that there was a murder in it. So Murder on a Moon Trek became the new title and this was the cover for almost a full year. Now, there is a different cover out there right now. I thought I would have a copy for the video. It will probably arrive tomorrow. So you'll have to see that in a future video. But that is Sylvia in a nutshell. What I do want to say about this series is I understand that not everyone is going to go into outer space for a mystery. They're just not going to follow me onto a spaceship. And I totally get that. But every once in a while, I will see a comment in a review where somebody says, I wasn't going to read this book, but I liked Diane's other books. So I took a chance and I loved it. Or I will see somebody who said, I was never, ever, 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 ever going to read a mystery set in outer space. But somebody suggested I read the book and I trust that person, so I read it and it's now my favorite series. Those comments, they warm my heart in a way you cannot imagine. This was a departure. I know Space Cozy has never been a big thing. It definitely was not a big thing when I first got the idea to write it. It, The books came to me at a time when I really needed something like this to write and I have always enjoyed Sylvia and her story and her growth and her found family and the elements of adventure and space opera that come into the series, a little wink of romance in there. It's just fun. They are just fun for me to write. They please my Star Trek Galaxy Quest heart. And I love that you have found them for those of you who have found them. So thank you. 
And that is what I'm going to tell you about Sylvia today. I will be back tomorrow with book number 20, which will be halfway. Um, but I do want to say that 40th book that I mentioned, if you go on my website at dianevalere.com, you will see details about it and about the pre-order giveaway that I'm currently running. So I will leave you with that and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.